Among the legacies we pass from generation to generation are mistakes in our DNA. Every year, over a million babies are born with one of many genetic diseases, each caused by a single error in one of our many genes. It did seem incredible that this one change could be so dangerous. Genetic illnesses can cause blindness, progressive loss of muscle, a lifetime of struggling to breathe. Just because you know what is broken in that patient's DNA, it doesn't mean necessarily we know how to fix it. For 20 years, all I would do is make a diagnosis, and then people would die. In the 1980s, I used to go to maybe half a dozen funerals a year for kids. There was times where she was like, Mommy, why me? For the first time, effective treatments are arriving for some of the most challenging diseases known to medicine. A new breed of physician is now on the case, gene doctors. It really is a special moment in time. The promise is unbelievable. Strategies for fixing broken genes, or the havoc they cause, are actually starting to work. We think of viruses as the enemy, but they deliver DNA to cells efficiently. Here we are now, hijacking the hijacker to correct these gene mutations. I mean, just absolutely brilliant. The concept was a milestone moment in all of medicine. Now we're actually able to tell a family, we think we can help your child. Universally, the reaction was, wow, we can make blind puppies see. Wouldn't it be amazing to make blind children see? It did seem pretty far into the future. I mean, gene therapy kind of Star Trek -y like. Now we're tinkering with the human gene, and we're making permanent corrections. So we'd better be right. These are really impressively hard problems. What we have now is incredible and revolutionary but it's going to even get better. That's the exciting part. We're going to take out this disease. That's the goal. Lots to do. It's the closest thing to a miracle that I've ever been involved with.